Hey guys, Tony Scott YT here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make the overall like three different types of UFO engines and what they do, and explaining kind of how they work. So for the first part, I guess I'll be explaining how they work. So what it does is that it glitches a block inside of a uh, hover block, and then like when it's at an angle, it produces momentum. So that's the explanation done because I'm really lazy. So now I'm going to be going on to a, uh, I guess the vehicle version for a UFO engine. So what we do first for a uh, vehicle, or for what that's for a vehicle is get a hover block and then make it so that it's facing upwards like this. And I'll go to settings and then change the distance to two. Delay, duration, pause doesn't matter, or controls don't matter, so you don't have to change any of that. So now what you do is just go to any side, and then um, get blocks, so you can replace these blocks with, like, I don't know, like, angle sensors or proximity sensors. So, just stack two of them on top like that, so that it makes this little 1x4, uh, or 2x2x1, two two or something like that. Okay. So now what you do is go to mechanic and then get a steering hinge and from here make sure that the red arrow is at the bottom like that so you have the steering hinge like this and then you have the red arrow going into here and then you have the green arrow going up like this so for the land version what we're gonna do is make sure you have show advanced on for this so the first step is to set the steering help to zero and then set the angle to five and then set the speed to two okay so now what you do from here is go w s it doesn't have to be toggle you don't need hold position and then once you get that done just copy over to this side so now um what you do for the land is go over to aerodynamics and then go all the way back here until you find the rounded corner inverted one by two so place one of those so that it looks like this okay perfect so what you do is select it and then copy it oh um one second copy it okay so once it's copied, go to the front side like this, and then select it, and then rotate on Y-axis once, and it should like that. If you're at a different kind of angle than I was, you might have to rotate it like two or three, four times, you know, four times you don't do anything. So now that's just the entire UFO engine done, so let me just prove that it works. So... You, I um, you could put this on any kind of vehicle. I suggest saving it. So I just have it on the seat, and then you have S and then W. And then, as you could tell, it goes pretty fast already. Um, going backwards with S, it goes uh, like 430, and then going forward, it goes like 170. Oh, never mind. Oh, going all the way up there for 500. Yeah. So the reason why you use this with cars is because this one only works at a certain like flat angle like this. So that's just basically why this one is mostly used for um, air and stuff, or not air, but land. Okay, so now for the second one, what we're gonna do is delete those and then get rid of this block one by two. And then we select both of these and then rotate on the Z axis so that they're facing up and then go like that. Okay. So, oh yeah, also this one is mo um, for air. So, uh, just giving you a disclaimer. Okay. So now once that's done, use the um, flat connector 1x3. It's under blocks and about the um, end. So now I'll get one of these and then flip it until it's connected like that. Perfect. And I'll just do that. And then get your grid block one by two and then connect that right here. So uh, I think that this is pretty good. It should work. And if it doesn't work, then I might know why. There we go. 
So, this one is for uh, air because this one works at all angles. It's not as good, but this is one core and can get you going really fast. About a slow, probably like 500 kilometers per hour. And then if you do zero drag, then uh, you can also use that. Okay. So now if you have a problem, like if you have um, the other kind of UFO engine for land, and then if it keeps on um, like flying into the sky, this is the solution for you. So now what you do is just move these two back like that, and then rotate them like that so that they're facing in this direction. Oh, one second. Okay. And then get to the uh, one by two and place that up right there. Okay, you don't need the seat. You could just attach this to any vehicle without the seat. So now what you do is just get the uh, grid block one by two, and then that's done. So what this does is that this is a UFO engine with downforce. So you could go forward, back, left, right if you actually have wheels. But as you can tell, it does go pretty fast. It's a lot faster than the other ones. It has better acceleration and probably better top speed. Um, so, I mean, that's about that. You could um, also just keep all the angles at 0 0.5. And for the air one, if you want, you could keep it at uh, 3 or 30 degrees, which I think it might be a little bit better, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me just give you guys some proof that these work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a car. Actually, no, it doesn't really care. It doesn't really matter at all. I mean, thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe and like if you want. And this has been the this has been Tony Scott YT. And see ya.